Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Momonos and today I will review the second studio album by the progressive rock band Genesis. Progressive rock band, I said that really weird, but there you go. Um, yeah, my, my opinions on this band have kind of changed in recent memory because I've listened and listened to them multiple times. And I've done a stream on them actually and that stream really burned me out to be honest. And I think that's mainly that, you know, the songs don't really stick in my head, to be honest. I, you know, Genesis was never really my favorite prog rock band. I always preferred, you know, Pink Floyd and Rush, Jeff Tull, Crimson and Yes. I, I always thought those bands were way, you know, they were beyond better than Genesis, I thought. And I still hold that opinion. Those, you know, all those bands that I just mentioned, I still love. I love listening to those bands. But I never had the sensation with Genesis, to be honest. I never really, like, I listen to their back catalog a lot. I've listened to a lot of their albums. I, I think I've heard half of their discography at this point. And to be honest, n you know, rarely a song sticks with me. I like, uh, you know, I like some of the, like, poppy music with Phil Collins. I like that stuff, some of it. I like, um, you know, The Knife on there. That's a classic song. Um, what else do I like? Carpet Crawl is pretty good, good riff. Selling England is a classic, of course. But you know, I never had that like returning sensation to them. I like the musical box fine. Now, I like Genesis, they're a fine band. But they were never really my favorite prog band, to be honest. They're, they're actually like my least favorite of the classic prog rock scene. Might be, you know, that is a very controversial opinion, I know, but. People in general are kind of like black and white with Genesis. You either love the band or you fucking hate them. And I kind of have that with Genesis. I guess I love some of their stuff and I really hate some of their other stuff. Like, you know, their debut and their last album. And I despise Eva Cap. I think that's a terrible album. Uh, I don't mind Trickle the Tail and Winter Mudring, but they're literally the same album, so I don't really care for that stuff. I don't really care for Phil Collins in general, I think like it's really later poppy stuff that literally just sounds like a solo career, I don't really care for that. So uh, Genesis always really uh, left me, you know, with a cold shoulder I suppose. I just don't really care for them to be honest, but I, I always said that their Trespass album was kind of like, you know, they were still pretty basic and they were still pretty understandable from my taste, you know, their progressive rock and folk rock on here, so they're still, you know, relatively um, straightforward on here. Not that they were very complex in the later years, but I just don't get the wanky and the over sensation that is the lamb lays down on Broadway because it has like a Bible of information that Peter Gabriel wrote and after that he got burned out I believe and he just left the band. Like he he had written it all on Lem Lies and he just you know burned out and he just never joined the band again. And to be honest, I never really got Lamb Lies. I did give it a high rating, but like like some songs sticks on my head, but others I just instantly forgot because they have like there's so much stuff written about it that you can't memorize except if you have listened to it for like ten times in a row, which I, I will not do because it's almost like one and a half hour long, so no thanks. For me at least, you know, if you're really into Gen <coughs> if you're really into Genesis, then uh, Lamb Lies might be, you know, your favorite album by them. But I, I just don't care, honestly. I can I do like their, you know, Nursery Crime and this album. I do like their kind of more easy, digestible stuff. But I don't care a lot for the later Phil Collins stuff, and I don't really care for the overblown sensation that is Lamb Lies. I think it's really overrated, but you know. That's of course debatable, uh, I think their album covers really blow too, but I might make a video separately on Genesis. This is their second album, like I said, I do like this album because it is more straightforward, the band was still pretty basic on this fundamental level. But I think it was better for the band because I, did, I could still digest this album. Although I definitely think that the first two songs are the worst because they literally just start out with a lot of fluff and with a lot of, lot of wank. And they just sound very vague and very, 
directionless to me. I think that's the right word for Genesis in general. The, the band a lot of the time for me sounds very directionless, like a lot of fluff and a lot of wanky filler is in their sound, which I don't really like. And they just sound very, like a very just directionless band. Like they don't know where they go, so they just overuse like the keyboards or they overuse like a pedal or something, you know. Yeah, you know, they really over, they really beat um, a, a, some kind of beat or some kind of uh, wanky prog sound in your head, which doesn't really lead anywhere. And I think that's a prime example for looking for someone and White Mountain, which do have interesting concepts. I do like the titles of these songs and I do think they're interesting to listen to. But I think at all, uh, for the most part, they really, you know, they just really bring out the worst of Genesis that I never liked about them. And that is their very um, vague and their very unapproachable uh, songwriting for this kind of stuff. They're very uh, all over the place, wanky sound that I kind of hate about Genesis. I don't hate this band, I like them, but that's like my least favorite thing about Genesis. That's some of their stuff is really um, just unlistenable to me. I, I can't, like, it doesn't stick in my mind. It doesn't like do anything for me. Um, it's not distinctive, I think. It's not dis uh, a distinctive sound that I really return to. It doesn't really stick in your head. It just kind of, it's kind of a blur in your head and then just kind of goes out of my other ear again, goes into the, uh, the one ear in the left ear and then it goes out out of the right ear again, for me at least, so I don't really care for these first two songs, they're kind of interchangeable for me. I do, although I do think that the album gets progressively better and better, and the band arguably after this, but these first two songs are definitely my least favorite, so there you go. And I think that Visions of Angels had the potential to be a great song, but I think that the very wanky first three minutes of the song really throw me for a loop, really like waste my time. This could have been like a catchy, like three, four minute Genesis song that you know, could have been just very distinctive, very great. You know, you could have had that great melody later to watch the track. But this track just kind of goes on for the first couple of minutes and then, you know, it becomes really good. But you have to sit through like two or three minutes of fluff to get there. So I don't like that approach of Genesis that they do that all the time, but you know, that's their thing, I guess, and I don't really care for it. But you know, Vision of Angels is definitely an improvement and definitely the best song of Side Ones. There you go. Then we got Stagnation, which is even better, but I do think that the title is pretty appropriate. It kind of stagnates again because it does bring you back to the first two songs, which had a lot of filler moments on it, I suppose. Uh, but I think that the uh, eventual opening and the kind of middle section of the song are really catchy and very uh, addictive to listen to. So if I would hear this again, I would definitely uh, jam it out and just, you know, crank it up and shit like that. Because this was definitely a very catchy, uh, you know, great first half. But again, the problem here is that the song is nearly nine minutes long. And it did have some really good moments, but it didn't need to be fucking nearly nine minutes. It's a catchy, great proc rock tune, but not nine minutes, not at all. And I think they really like took my advice on the next song, which is Dusk, which is absolutely, at the moment, one of my favorite Genesis songs. I really think that if the band would go into the direction of Dusk, like they, um, I think they would have been a great band, in my opinion, if they would have, done something like the later stuff like invisible touch or like you know the mama genesis self-titled duke era genesis turn it on again great song I, I think i think if they really would do stuff like that but with peter gabriel on vocals and with this classic like trespass lineup here i think genesis would have been a phenomenal band if they would stick to this like four or five minutes um, like proggy uh, pop rock slash proggy element kind of blending in with the with their catchy later stuff but still sticking with Peter Gabriel as the singer Phil Collins as the drummer 
and you know being catchy but still being progressive like trash special on there i think they really would have done would have done something really great if they would stick to that formula but unfortunately they got you know more proggy and more wankier later down the road and they really just lost me with some of their stuff some of their stuff is really great and some of their other stuff is really like it doesn't affect me at all so there you go and i think dusk is that one like light bulb moment or that white light moment where you know the all the whole band comes together and just creates this very flawless four minute great fucking proc rock tune which is still very catchy and very um approachable and very uh easy to get into i think it's very um entry level I'm looking for a word here i think it's very um Easy to get into, I don't know what I'm looking for, but sure. A Dusk is a great track, I love the song, so yeah, it's pretty much my favorite song. Because I think The Knife is definitely my second favorite song, because The Knife is just a Genesis staple at this point. It's 10 seconds longer than Stagnation, but it doesn't stagnate for me. It has some really great uh, guitar solos by um, uh, Anthony Phillips and Michael Rutherford, who both play a 12 string acoustic guitar, which is very interesting. Or a nylon guitar, cello, they play a lot of shit, so there you go. Uh, oh, they didn't have Phil Collins yet on there, so there you go. I actually really like that uh, drum feel towards the ending by uh, John Mayhew. He has a really great drum towards the ending of the knife, I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, just a great song to close it out. Arguably my all-time favorite Genesis song, The Knife, right there. I don't think it's as good as Dust because Dust just comes in great and it ends great. It's pretty much the only flawless song on this record, I would say. But I think The Knife really comes as a close second. And if someone would call this a 10 out of 10 or one of Genesis' best, best songs, I won't deny that because it is a marvelous song. It's a great song. So I think overall this album is, you know, it has the potential to be a 10 out of 10, but I think the, the vocals by Peter Gabriel were still pretty underwhelming to be honest. He had some very iffy vocal moments on this album. I think a lot of the fluff and a lot of the filler on air, like, you know, the first side has a lot of filler and I think stagnation just really like stagnated, like very appropriately. I think only really that the band shines on air is on the last two tracks, for sure, truly great Genesis tracks, which I really love. So I think that this record could have been a 10 out of 10, but I think um, that the first side was very uh, fitter and very forgettable. I think the second side is definitely better, but it could have been a bit more consistent, you know, stagnation, there you go. So I'm feeling a 7.5 on this record. I think it's good, but I think it could have been better. So there you go. This is my opinion on Trespass. I like it, but it's... Um, Mm, yeah, it's not my favorite Genesis album, and that will probably be selling or uh, Nursery Crime. I do like those albums, so there you go. Or Foxtrot, although the fuck all album cover with the fucking fox with with the cleavage, cleavage and shit. Like, what the fuck are those Genesis album covers, man? I don't like Genesis album covers, but I do think that this one's pretty stylish with you know the Zeus or the the God, kind of the Jesus. Um, figure and the goddess i suppose um holding each other and like the naked angel luring in the back their, their child i suppose um i wish that kids wore some clothes because that's that kids you know not the best image right there but i guess you know to portray kind of like the pissing angel i suppose or like just just the cupid i suppose there's like child angels or something those are like always naked, so that's like imagery right there, like some historic imagery, so I, I get it. Uh, it's definitely a quiet day, but it's probably my favorite Genesis album cover. Uh, looks pretty cool, so there you go. Although I hate the backside, with like literally just a knife on the back, just scratching the backside. I, I think that's very fuck all, but sh you know, sure. So 7 and a half, I think it's a good album, but it could have been better, so there you go. Um, let me know what you think about Genesis. I personally think they're the most overrated prop rock band out there. Uh, some people might say Rush or Pink Floyd, but I think Pink Floyd deserves the acclaim they get. And I think Rush uh, is an amazing band as well. So I think that Genesis is the most overrated one, but 
And that's of course debatable. Um, I'm ominous. Like one of Kato's channel, one of Vita's live one. Let me know what you think about Genesis. I like the band. Some people think right now that I hate them, but I like Genesis. They they just never were my favorite prog rock band. They are pretty much my least favorite. So there you go. But I still like them. They're still prog rock. They're still my favorite genre. But they're just my least favorite. So there you go. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about this band. Um, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, if I didn't say it already, like and subscribe to the channel for for, for my future lives one. Let me know what you think about the band, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.